second, it was well publicized and unfortunate. Uh, you were in a pretty bad accident, pretty horrific accident back in June. You were injured. Your friend was injured as well. It was a fatal accident. Fortunately, you survived. How's your recovery going? It's been going phenomenally well, getting stronger every single day. Um, Jackie, the woman that was in the accident with me on Friday, was, uh, after 62 days, uh, released from the hospital and is home in New Orleans recovering. So we're both on the mend. That's good news. And you know the power of a Trump endorsement. We just saw it uh, in Florida and, and Ron DeSantis. Uh, you were a beneficiary, I believe, of a Trump endorsement when you defeated uh, Mark Sanford, the incumbent uh, in District 1. How does this translate for you uh, into victory in November in a general election? So right now we're focusing, you know, on the campaign about the core issues that the Trump agenda has been pushing. You know, we we cannot say enough about how robust the economy is going and that the tax cuts are performing. They're doing exactly what they, they said they would do. If you lower taxes and you lower regulation, the free market thrives. Amen. We have jobs, lowest unemployment in record history. Uh, stock market broke uh, barriers yesterday. Of course, that wasn't the national news. It, it never seems to get there. Um, and pushing border security. I mean, staying with that agenda is what the conservative uh, mindset is after. You seem pretty well spoken. What about Joe Cunningham? He is your opponent in the general election. What do we need to know about him? Um, he is anti the tax cuts. He thinks that they need to be uh, repealed. Um, he is a, you know, um, it, it, he's he's a challenge for me in the fact that he really doesn't stand for too much anything that's opposing Trump. And those are the, the challenges we have. He's about uh, getting the tax cuts repealed. He's about ensuring that Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters, you know, are in leadership positions coming if the House is a flip. And we absolutely cannot have that. One of the uh, Trump agenda items, obviously, uh, famously, is to build the wall. It's still a process uh, that hopefully is uh, underway or going to be underway and funded pretty soon. Uh, we cross our fingers here every day that it is. But I have a question for you. Did you steal my idea of a toll at the border to fund the wall? Because I made that proposal on this program many, many months ago, and I'm reading up on you, and you say, hey, a $10 toll. That's exactly the figure I came up with. Well, it's so there are several you, me, and I think a couple other people are are just common sense people that saw this as an issue. Why is it so hard for Americans to get behind this? Let the tolls pay for the wall. Go ahead. So, amen. Your district uh, was one that went for President Trump by 13 percent over Hillary Clinton. Uh, how do you ride and capitalize on that for a, a general election? victory when we know that South Carolina and your district in particular uh, it, it is pretty red, uh, but it's turning a little more purple. So it's focusing on the issues that matter. You know, the, the, the kitchen kit table conversations that affect everybody. Are we working? Are we able to pay for our homes? Do we have, you know, food on our table for our families? Are we secure? Those are the issues that we're going to focus on on this campaign. Those are the ones that matter across the party lines. Those are issues that matter. You cannot deny how great this economy is doing. We have jobs. We have, you know, we're moving forward on, you know, the border wall idea. If they can get that done, if not fund it, we need security. Those are the issues that Americans care about. I, I don't have to tell you that the Democrats would love nothing more than to flip your seat. Uh, you are in their crosshairs uh, for sure. So if people want to find out more information and possibly help your campaign, uh, where's the place to go? VoteKatieArrington.com is the website. Of course, we have our Facebook page, Katie Arrington, uh, South Carolina One. Um, and just understand that, you know, common sense values, uh, we need to continue to drain the swamp in Washington. We need to continue to support President Trump on doing that. And to ensure that, you need to have somebody in that office uh, that, that's going to do that. And that is me. Well, keep campaigning. Keep trying to gin up the base uh, there in South Carolina. And keep mending yourself. Katie, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.